click on OK, click on OK. All right. Today concept, first concept, dynamic handling file system concept. So we have covered throw, right? What? Throw, throw. Now, now, now you can get it, ma. So just wait. So in the first uh, uh, today session, you can get it. What is throws? Everything you can get it. Just wait. So today concept is dynamic handling file system concept. Today concept to dynamic handling file system concept before going to this concept first of all we should know what is flat file flat file means it doesn't have any predefined format any predefined format so that is called flat file flat file means it doesn't have any predefined format so that is called flat file so before going to this concept first of all you should know flat file flat file means flat file means it doesn't have any free different format that means you can write it anything there is nothing there is no restrictions there is no limitations whatever you want you can write it so there is no restrictions so that is called a flat file flat file is nothing but it doesn't have any predefined format whatever you want you can write it so that is flat file example notepad comma text document notepad or text document notepad or text document so what is flat file so we will discuss what is dynamic handling file system concept so if you want to create a new file in file system if you want create a new file in file system comma if you want to write the data into the file in file system if you want write the data into the file system comma if you want to get the data from file system get the data from file system we will use file system concept so without going to d drive or e drive or f drive directly through code we can create a new file in file system we can write the data into the file in file system we can get the data from file in file system we will use file system concept without going anywhere directly we can create a new file in file system we can write the data into the file in file system we can get the data from file in file system we will use file system concept so for that we are using five free defined classes for that we are using five free defined classes one is file second one is file writer third one is buffer writer file reader buffer reader so for that we are using five predefined classes file file writer buffer writer file reader buffer reader what is file using file we can it, all these are five predefined classes all are predefined classes so file is is nothing but so using file we can create the data into the sorry we can create the file into file system we can create a file into file system using file writer we can write the data into the file system we can write the data into the file system we can write the data into the file system if you write only file writer we can't write the data into the file system compulsory we should take the reference of buffer writer then only we can able to write the data into the file system if you write only file writer we can't write the data into the file system so compulsory we should take the reference of buffer 
writer then only we can able to write the data into the file system okay next file reader file reader is used for we can read the data from file system we can read the data from file system if you write only file reader we can't read the data from file system compulsory once again here also we should take the reference of buffer reader then only we can able to get the data from file system so these are the five predefined classes so this concept is just you should remember only one thing so here only for this logic purpose we are learning if you write only file writer we can't write the data into the file system we will take the reference of buffer writer then only we can able to write the data into the file system we can write the data into the file system only for that logic purpose we are learning this concept that is dynamic handling file system concept here we have five free defined classes file file writer buffer writer file reader buffer writer okay right go to eclipse Go to SRC, take the new class, class name is I am taking file something. Keep the mark published at wide menu, click on finish. Now, I am writing file f equal to new file file f equal to new file give the path of the file in the d colon akki dot txt akki dot text and creating one file akki dot text or we can say preeti So I want to write the data. F dot create new file. Here is not important this one, but you can if you want to write you can write it. Create new file. Next file file writer FW equal to new file writer. Give the path. Sir, I have a doubt here. Hmm. Yeah, I have a doubt here. Uh, you are creating a file as an object here. We are creating file, madam. File f equal new file. Class name, reference name equal new class name, just like. Oh, yeah. Uh, class name, reference name equal to new class name. Hmm. And you are giving the path uh, like file under braces, that is a function. And under that, you can give the path. Huh? Oh, Generally, no. we used to leave. Uh, whenever you want to import the data or export the data, we will use double slash. So I'm giving double slash. I'm giving name Preeti. So dot text. Just create that. It will create the text file. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's what sir. General ka manam ipudu ka kotha object create cheya liye nante. Manam just two braces pete si blank or less si semicolon pete valam. Since it's a file. Mm. We have to give the path under that braces. Huh? Ah, yes, we. I am giving one location. I am giving specifying one location. In that location, it will create the file, madam. Okay. Okay. In the D colon Preeti, so it will create one file Preeti. Uh, that is test to document. That is the reason I am mentioning extension also. Okay. So next, I am writing a file writer F W called new file writer. So I am giving path. And only if you write file writer, we can't write the data into the file system. So I'm taking buffer writer. BW equal to new buffer writer. FW. So 
so if you write only buffer writer we can't sorry here if you write only file writer we can't write the data so that's the reason here i'm mentioning buffer writer bw equal new buffer writer fw so then we can write the data into the file system bw dot write good morning bw dot new line bw dot write how are you bw dot new line bw dot right by java so after writing the data so we should write bw dot flush next i want to read the data so compressor we should write flush why we need to write flush so it can hold the data otherwise it cannot hold the data bw dot flush i am writing why i am writing it can hold the data without flush it cannot hold the data without flush it cannot hold the data without flush it cannot hold the data Sir, can you explain me this one uh, which one buffered buffered writer space bw equal to new buffered writer under that why are we referring fw again yes we are just there is no without uh, so here compulsory file writer is we need we need file writer so using file writer only we can write but we can't able to write the data uh, data into the file using file writer so that's the reason we are taking buffer writer reference only that logic purpose we are learning this java so here sima file writer is used for we can write the data into the file system actually if you write only file writer we can't write the data into the file system that's the reason i'm taking reference of buffer writer i'm taking the reference of buffer writer so here observe carefully i'm only buffer writer reference only i'm writing the data only buffer writer reference only i'm writing the data only buffer writer reference only we are writing the data so that is the reason we are we need connection connection to fw to bw so how without this connection so it will not write the data so there is no relation so without to flush without to fw so without to fw so where where we created uh, file how we know if it is there is no fw so how where we created file so there is no relation that is the reason we are only for this logic purpose only we are learning this concept that is in a hurry, uh, sorry uh, dynamic handling file system concept so only already i told you if you write file writer we can't write the data into the file system so compulsory we should take the reference of buffer writer so buffer writer bw equal new buffer writer fw so we are connecting just file writer to F, um, buffer writer we are connecting so here we are maintaining the connection so that is the reason then only we can able to write the data into the file system and here you should remember only one thing flush compulsory we should write without flush it cannot hold the data it cannot hold the data so that means it can store the data so compulsory we should write flush file f equal to new file java.io it is a predefined class that is the reason it is showing underlines so next file writer java ivo file writer java ivo buffer writer java ivo so after writing the code it will show you underlines it will show you underlines so then keep the cursor on and so add throws declaration go so, these are the throws made up so here one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight underlines it is showing. That means it is a throws. So we need to add throws. So keep the cursor. 
add throws declaration io exception io exception so this is the throws concept separate example that's the reason yesterday i didn't teach a separate example i didn't take any separate example why because here we can get add throws just after writing the code so it will show you underlines whenever keep the cursor it will ask you add throws so just ask uh, add the throws add throws declaration right we created save click on run go on check in d colon Preeti. good morning how are you by java it created one file it created one file and we can write the data into the file also so now i want to get the data from file now i want to get the data from file File, file reader fr equal new file reader buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader fr same logic Buffer reader br equal new buffer reader fr. So here, what is the use of boolean, madam? We discussed boolean. What is the use of boolean? True or false. True or false. So data is available or not? I want to check. Here is no need. Here is no need, but uh, there is no chance in future. If you want to implement boolean, there is no chance. So if you want to implement boolean, here we can use. So data is there or not. In the D colon, Preeti document having uh, holding the data or not, I want to check. So boolean var equal to um, br dot ready. SYSO control space where so this two lines is not very important so if you want write you can write it boolean br dot boolean var equal br dot ready system dot out dot print run var now I want to get the data from d colon so here I am writing while loop while br dot ready this method is used for data is there or not it will check if it is there if it is there i'm saying store in one string string is equal to We are dot read line. S for S for control space. Yes. File leader Java Ivo. File leader Java Ivo. Buffer reader Java Ivo. Save. Click on run. You can get the data. Console. Yes, true. Data is there. 
good morning how are you bye java this is the concept of dynamic unlinked file system concept through code we can create a new file in file system we can write the data into the file in file system we can get the data from file in file system we will use file system concept for that we are using five predefined classes file file later buffer writer file leader buffer reader this is the concept of dynamic unlinked file system concept right next concept next concept to reflection api reflection api api means application programming interface application programming interface what is reflection api reflection api contains some setup three defined classes reflection api contains some set of predefined classes among them one of the class method class what is the use of method class method class reference can hold any other method in the specified class using same reference we can invoke that method so what is the use of method class so method class reference can hold any other method in the specified class method class reference can hold any other method in the specified class using same reference we can invoke that method using same same method class reference we can invoke that method so that's why that is called method class method class means first reflection api api means application programming interface API contains some set of predefined classes among them one of the class that is the method class what is the use of method class method class reference can hold any other method in the specified class using same reference we can invoke that method same method class reference we can invoke that method or function we can say function or method right or simply we can say using method class reference we can call the
you can call the starting function from another class we can call the starting function from another class using method class reference we can call the starting function from another class we can call the starting function from another class we can call the starting function from another class we can call the starting function from another class we can call the starting function from another class okay right so how we can call the function we will discuss simple concept easy concept to i am taking one class go to src take the new class class name is api only i am taking only one class api click on finish here i am writing functions public static function i am writing public static void login function i am writing I'm writing one function only I'm taking class I'm writing one function <laughs> go to SRC take the another new class new class ref now take the main method click on finish Now I want to call the login function. Login function I wrote in API, API class. Okay, I wrote in API. I want to call that login function. Right. Take store in one string. String is equal to. I'm writing login. I'm storing in one single. Login is function name. Login is function name. full code man next method m equal to previous class name api dot class dot get method get method s m dot invoke m so same method class reference same method class reference we can call the function m dot invoke m after writing the code here it will show you see string s equal to login function name previous function name is login ah, that function i want to call so method reference m m equal to previous class name api dot class dot get method yes s means string login m dot invoke m after writing the code it will show you why because method is a predefined class so whenever you are writing predefined class automatically we need to add some throws add throws declaration no such method exception security exception and keep the cursor once again illegal access exception illegal argument exception invocation target exception these are the exceptions save now we can call that function login function so we can write login here
lagi ni ya. That is the concept to reflection IP. That is the concept to reflection API. Madam? Sir, uh... so why we learn Java? Whatever we are learned in Java, that logic we will use in Selenium. Without knowing Java also, we can learn Selenium. Even fourth class kid also, we can learn Selenium. So, without knowing anything, without knowing Java also, is it possible? Yes, this session is recording, madam. So, I am saying, without without Java also, we can learn Selenium. Whatever we learn, that logic indirectly, we will use in Selenium, not directly. Right. Sir, why we need to learn Java? So, whenever you are facing the interview, that they will ask you half of the questions in Java, half of the questions in Selenium. So, that logic indirectly, we will use in Selenium. That is the reason we are learning this Java. Next concept. Overriding. If at all a function if at all a function existing in one class if at all a function existing in one class or parent class you can say any one madam if at all a function existing in parent class or one class then that function If we write in if at all a function existing in parent class, then that function, if we write in child class, then that concept is. If at all a function existing in parent class, then that function, if we write in child class, then that concept is called overriding. Or if at all a function existing in one class, then that function, if we write in another class, then that concept is called overriding. So same function, if we write in another class also, that concept is called overriding. So function, we are overriding. Function, it is overriding. So that's the reason we can say it is a concept overriding. So already overloading we discussed. So that concept is different to this concept is different to overloading means same just in the same class we will write number of functions number of function with same names but different arguments are different type if you write then that concept is called overloading now this concept is totally different so here we are taking two classes whatever we have in parent class function should be there in child class in child class if you want any extra functions you can write it but whatever we have in parent class function should be there in child class that is the concept so which one is parent class which one is child class how we know so if you are taking first time first first class that is parent class if you take second class that is, uh, second class that is child class now we will discuss that concept. Go to your search to take the new class model one. Click on finish. Public wide call.
model one call in the model one i am taking two function three functions so reject model one reject message model one message model one message and taking another class model two class go to src take the new class model two same functions i'm writing here i'm writing extra function also model to whatsapp model to call model to reject model to message model to whatsapp save right i'm going to once again oh, src take the new class class name i'm taking over Give the mark public start void menu. So I want to call the function from this class. So create the object first of all. So how to create the object class name model one m1 equal to new model one. Right. I want to call the model one functions m1 dot call. M1 dot message M1 dot WhatsApp not WhatsApp reject next I want to call model two functions model two M2 equal to new model 2 M2 dot call M2 dot message M2 dot reject M2 dot WhatsApp this is the concept <coughs> overloading concept now connecting concept to connecting concept connecting concept to next con connecting concept to very very important concept that is interface what is interface interface is something interface is something created between two somethings interface is something created between two somethings in between two somethings i'm i'm keeping something so that is called interface so we have two somethings in between two something i'm keeping something so that is called interface so 
this is something this is something and keeping something so interface is something created between two something for example for example what is this interface we will discuss so for example iphone people finally they decided they want to maintain some common features in each and every model they want to maintain some common features in each and every model for example iphone people they want to maintain some common features in each and every model like 3s 4s 5s 6s 7s 8s something yes so they want to maintain some common features in each and every model that's the reason they are creating one interface and what are what they want to maintain commonly they are keeping in one interface so they want to maintain kalu reject to message they want to maintain this common functions in each and every model if it is if it is any 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 iphone or having thousands of functions so they want to maintain some features some features in each and every model that's the reason they are keeping in interface if they want to introduce any model into market first of all they will install this interface after that if they want any extra function they can add it but they want to maintain this common functions in each and every model that's the reason they are keeping in one interface so they are keeping in an one interface if they want to introduce any model into market first of all they will install that interface after that if they want any extra function they can add it but that final goal is each and every model should contain this interface functions so if at all any interface function missing automatically it will show error why because so first of all we will install that interface function only if it is anyone missing automatically it will show error so each and every if it is three functions or four functions or uh, 10 functions we can check manually each and every model having these functions or not we can check it manually but if it is hundreds of functions or thousands of functions we can't check manually so that time we will use interface concept and we will check each and every model having this interface functions or not so that concept is called interface function interface concept so now we will discuss <coughs> Meno, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm there. Oh, something. I got message. There is less than 50 MB free space and drive. See, please free up some space and should maintain in the recording. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Oh, my God. Yes, just wait. Now, I want to create one interface. How to create an interface? So the simple, go to SRC, take the new interface. I'm creating interface, that interface name is iPhone. Click on finish. I'm creating one interface, iPhone. Here I'm writing functions, public void call. Public void message public wide reject so i wrote three functions here observe carefully what is the main difference between uh, class function and interface function what is the main difference between class function and interface function you don't have a main uh main function we don't have any main function no 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 so there is no main there is no function body <laughs> so if it is class we will have function body if it is interface there is no function body that is the difference right okay. i created one interface but i want to check each and every model having this interface functions are not so I want to check, I'm going to model one, I'm, I want to check this model one having this interface functions or not. So just simply we can write implements iPhone. So if it is any function missing, automatically it will show error, but there is no function missing. So it will not show any error. For example, if it is call is missed, so automatically it will show error. Automatically it will show error. So if it is having all functions, so there is no errors there is no errors model 2 also having this interface functions are not i want to check just model 2 implements 
iPhone. Save. Over. Come to concept. Now we will learn one line. Only this line purpose we learn Java. That is interface name. Reference name. Equal to new class name. Interface is iPhone iPhone I1 equal to new model 1 I1 dot call I1 dot reject I1 dot message next so interface name iphone reference name azure visual i1 equal to new model one so we can call the, all the all the interface functions next i'm writing iphone i2 equal to new model 2 i2 dot call i2 dot message i2 dot reject so i2 dot whatsapp we can get or not yeah we have to get no through Interface reference we can call only interface functions only So using interface reference we can call only interface functions only we can call only interface functions only So using class reference we can call all all class functions, but here I'm using interface reference So through interface reference we can call only interface functions only that is logic so using interface reference we can call only interface functions only in interface we have call message reject so we have only three functions so we can call only the three functions so we can stop the record mode